Today, we have another very exciting position with Northrop Grumman, the position of a classified cybersecurity analyst, and this role is paying up to $130,000 a year. Not only that, it is 100% remote. What that means, you can work from anywhere, okay? And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to reveal the job description. What are the things that you have to look out for? I'm going to be showing you what they are asking, what they need, and I will tell you how to get them. Number two, I will also show you the resume that you need to apply for this role that will get you an interview. And after that, what is the next thing? Interview. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to be showing you and reveal to you the secret that you will need to nail the interview and ultimately get the job. I'm excited for this one, guys. One thirty thousand dollars a year. Let's go. The job title for this is classified cybersecurity analyst, and um, we're going to look at the requisition here. So first thing first is IT. We know that, of course. However, it is requires that you must be a citizen of the United States. You have to be a citizen of the United States, and then you must be able to obtain secret secret security clearance. This is because I, I figure this company gets mili military or Department of Defense contracts, so they will probably need you to be able to get security clearance, and you have to be a citizen of the United States as well. Um, also, now, at Northam, Northrop Grumman, our employees, let's take a look at here. At Northrop Grumman, our employees have incredible opportunities to work on revolutionary systems that impact people's lives around the world today and for generations to come. So if you have adrenaline, if you get adrenaline from working on new things, working on exciting project, working on exciting technologies that impact lives, this might be a very good opportunity for you. This is going to be exciting. So you can take a look at, just read it. I, I, there's something I saw here that just caught my attention. Take a look at this here. We look for people who have bold new ideas, courage, and a pioneering spirit to join forces to invent the future and have fun along the way. So if that is you, if you like to do new things, if you like to innovate, you like to bring something new into the system, inject new things, this might be the best one for you. Now, another one is the information system security professionals, like who they want. Now, let's take a look at this right here. Before we go to the responsibilities, cyber assets are everywhere. Now, let's, let me read that again. Cyber assets everywhere are under siege from a wide spectrum of threats. Almost daily, these threats grow in sophistication, breadth, and speed, which is very true. There's cyber threat everywhere affecting our digital assets. Okay, and it's growing rapidly. It's a billion-dollar industry. Now... At Northrop Grumman, we take a holistic approach to cybersecurity, looking at the whole cyber landscape of people, process, and technology. And that is what it's all about. People, the process, and the technology. Now, you can take a look at all this as well. Now, let's look at the responsibilities. Perform assessment of system networks. But first thing first, you may want to ask yourself, what are you going to do here? So basically, you're going to check computer system and networks to see if they follow the correct rules and policy, all right, you'll find where things are not set up correctly and that uh, could be at risk. That is what you're doing here. Now, for this established street program control processes, you'll be, you're going to like, what am I going to do here? Basically, you're going to establish as just what it is. Establish a strict program control process to ensure mitigation of risk and support obtaining certification and accreditation of system. You're basically going to be doing things that will make sure that before, before uh, the systems are, are being used or changed, you're going to ensure that they perform risk analysis and you get certification and accreditation of those systems. That's what this is all about. You're also going to assist in implementation of the required government policy because these guys they get government pol uh, contract you they're going to need to uh be in compliance with the required government policy so you're going to also help them in implementation of those policies 
you're going to also perform analysis to validate established security requirements. So the established requirement that they have, the requirement, the security requirement that they've established, you're going to perform analysis to validate them to see if they make sense or not. And then you can take a look at this one. And here is just documentation, document the result of certification and accreditation activities. This right here is all about documentation, documenting things, writing, all right? Basic qualification. So master's degree with zero years of experience. So if you have, like if you don't have experience at all and you have master's degree, this is good for you. Or if you have bachelor's degree and you have two years of experience, or you have associate degree and you have four years of experience, or you have high school diploma with six years of experience. So you can see this does not require bachelor's degree at all. If you have high school diploma, you're good to apply for this role. And then you must be able to get this DOD here, all right? That's a clearance that you must be able to get and also the secret level security clearance as well. And preferred qualification, this is what like what they prefer that you have uh, bachelor's degree in cyber security, this is not, they just prefer this, it's not a must, okay? If you don't have it, you're good. And you also need to understand risk management framework. You can check this on YouTube. That's very easy to understand. And all the tools here, Nessos is for, Nessos, what you see here, Nessos is for vulnerability scanning. Splunk here is what they call SIM tool. Splunk is a SIM tool. NIST is framework tool. All right. Also, system audit vulnerability scanning. Vulnerability scanning is the same thing that they do with Nessus. Okay. So you you if you don't know this, you can check them on YouTube, check them out. And the salary range is up to one hundred and four thousand dollars. And now they have other benefits as well. Now let's look at the resume. This is a resume here that will get you this uh interview. Now your your name your city, your, your country, your zip code, phone number, email, the professional summary, skills, your experience, your accomplishment, and then your education. You want, you need to follow this resume here because this is Harvard standard. Like this is the best one out there. This format of this resume is the best, I tell you. Now, take a look at the company as well. You can take a look at the company. Let's take a look at them. Forbes 2022 World Best Employer List. I think this company might be a very good one and you're going to get a lot of benefits working with them. Now, how do you kill the interview? Because this resume probably is going to get you an interview. So how do you kill the, res the interview? Number one, understand everything here. Understand everything you have in your experience in your resume. Understand them, create stories, create scenarios around them, have in-depth understanding of everything you wrote in your resume. And number two, you need to understand, you need to understand this right here. Understand everything about them. And then finally, you must understand the job and responsibilities. Like what are the questions that can come up? You can take each one of these and put them in Google, put them on ChatGPT, and ask ChatGPT to ask you questions for this. And JGBT will generate questions from these responsibilities. And from there, you're going to understand who um the like what the questions will be. Okay. So that is how to go about this. I hope you get value from this. I hope I've been able to do justice to this particular one right here. So I'm going to see you again next time with another exciting job opportunity that would be very, very good and juicy for you to apply. I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now.